Hey Cindy Kids, welcome back to my channel. I was asked by Pop Sugar recently as a member of the APIA community, what makes me hopeful for the future in 2021? And I provided them with a full response, but I wanted to give you my full response just in case it doesn't make it into the feature. To go along with your story time today, I'm gonna to be creating an avant-garde makeup look inspired by the Coronation Fabergé egg from 1897. If you wanna see more makeup story times, makeup challenges, content growth tips, and editing tips, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and a notification bell, and stay till the very end to see how I turn myself from this into this. Now let's get right into it. As someone who was born in Taiwan and grew up as Taiwanese diaspora in the Philippines, I've always valued finding common ground between different people. I went to international schools surrounded by people from various nationalities. I was fascinated by other people's backgrounds and every activity was essentially a cultural exchange. When I moved to the United States, I grew more aware of in-groups and out-groups and the awkward divide that split them. I began to identify with certain communities more than others, but always had friends in all of them. No matter who I met, I could find something in common with them in conversation, even if we disagreed on other topics. I also started to identify the root of some of my insecurities, which stemmed from the lack of media representation back when I lived in the Philippines and Taiwan. There was a lot of Anglophilia, and being whiter, poreless, skinnier, and hairless was the ultimate beauty standard amongst at least the communities I was part of. If you had Eurocentric features, like a taller nose bridge and bigger eyes, you were considered more attractive. Upon entering the world of social media, I never thought that I'd be the person in front of the camera, even though I've always loved entertainment and performing. I'm Asian and I have a big beauty mark right on my forehead and I grew up feeling ashamed of it. But when I started putting makeup on myself and not other models, I started receiving messages from people all around the world and from different ages saying that they had never seen someone with a beauty mark on their face just like them and it made them feel more normal, more accepted. Representation matters. I didn't know the role I played until I was already in it. I now have broken many of the stereotypes that people assumed about me. I am a Taiwanese woman who speaks English with an American accent even though I am not American to the shock of many. I dropped the traditional career of being an office worker to become my own boss. I have a master's degree and I chose to be a content creator who paints her face into crazy avant-garde looks and makes videos and photos for a living. I have olive toned skin. I have a big mole on my face that I was bullied for my whole life. And no, I'm not getting rid of it because it's one of the things that makes me unique. I say all of this because I need people to know who I am to understand what I'm hopeful for in the future. First, I'm hopeful that people will find common ground with each other, as my international friends and I did. We may not agree on every single thing, but we can choose love, acceptance, and open-mindedness. Inclusion is not the echo chamber of our beliefs, but the willingness to include those who have different opinions from ours. We don't all have to be friends, but we can definitely find something we both believe in together. Second, I'm hopeful that we can change media representation. My role as a social media influencer will hopefully inspire those who look like me, or at least show those who felt like they weren't meant to pursue their creative passions because of their appearance, that they were meant to be whoever they wanted to be. 